we're going to be showing you how to refinish your furniture to lighten up your living room. And we're going to get started. It's shopping time! All right, you will need to choose a wood stain. I have purchased Varathane's Antique White in oil base. I have matched that with Varathane's oil-based polyurethane. <clears throat> Sponsor me. I've also purchased SC Johnson's Fine Wood Paste Wax, as well as odorless mineral spirits, rubber gloves, cotton rags, a paintbrush, and some steel wool. Now, it's time to get to work. First things first, remove any existing paint or stain from your furniture. I sanded my furniture until I had a nice smooth finish and then proceeded to grab a rag and my mineral spirits, dampened my rag with the mineral spirits and wiped down all the pieces to remove any dust or grime from sanding. Now it's time for staining. Mix your stain and apply liberally with a rag. At this point in time, it does not need to look pretty. Just glob it on there. Then let it sit until it's tacky to the touch, not completely dry. Again, grab another rag and your mineral spirits. And now we are going to wipe off as much stain as we'd like to achieve our desired end result. Here's what mine looks like so far. A nice whitewash finish, voila. Now we are going to be moving on to polyurethaning. What you will need is your desired finish of polyurethane. Mineral spirits, I have gone with an odorless version, but it still stinks. Some steel wool, a mixing cup, and a clean brush. I'll show you what's next. Next, you're gonna wanna do three parts polyurethane to one part mineral spirits in your mixing cup. Pro tip, dunk your brush in some mineral spirits. Then get a few sheets of paper and stroke that paper until the brush runs dry. This will ensure that it's clear of dirt and grime before application. Remember, always hold your brush downwards as to not clog the binding of the brush and keep it nice and new. Okay friends, I thought I should show you how to properly apply your polyurethane. Proper, properly apply your polyurethane. Lightly dunk your brush in your canister. Make sure to get all the excess off of the bristles. Start a third of the way in. If we were to start on the edge, we would have drips over the edge. We don't want that. So if you start a third of the way in, we can run back over that stroke on our way back. Come back in the opposite direction, making sure you're going nice and slow. Now that we've let the piece dry for three to four hours, we're gonna take our steel wool and go with the grain across the whole piece. This is gonna take down our top layer and smooth it out, getting us ready for our second layer of polyurethane. Pro tip, get yourself some cheesecloth or tack cloth. This will come in handy getting all of that dust off after sanding. We have reached the finish line. Okay, we have let three layers of polyurethane dry on our piece and it looks great, except there's one more step we need to take. You're gonna need some paste wax, more of your mineral spirit, two uh, coarsenesses, coarsenes, coarsen, coarsen, coarsen eye of steel wool. I have triple zero and quadruple zero. It says they're at the bottom. So follow along and then we'll be done. This piece will be ready. Let's go. Last but not least, use your finest steel wool to coat your whole piece in paste wax. Then with a clean rag, buff until it's shiny. I bet you thought we were done, didn't you? <laughs> but we're not because the TV stand matches the coffee table, which makes sense. So. Because I am quite lazy when it comes to doing things properly, I will not be using the same technique as we used for the coffee table. Instead, I will be giving this piece a light sand and then slapping it with spray paint. 
The spray paint will match our previously stained coffee table, and if you want to see how I'm gonna do it, keep watching. Naked. I'm a naked. I'm a naked. 